Once upon a time, there lived a vain emperor who thought his clothes and his material possessions were the most important thing in life. He loved to show off his fine suits and robes, sometimes changing his clothes many times a day. The entire kingdom knew about his conceited ways. Two naughty tailors decided they could play a trick on the emperor and steal some of his money. They made a journey to the palace to try and meet with him. The emperor loved to meet new clothes makers, so he invited the two men inside. We are tailors to many important people, said the men, and after many years of research, we have invented an amazing new material. It is a fabric so light and fine with such magical qualities that it looks invisible to anyone who is not clever enough to appreciate it. We want to make a suit just for you because we know you'll look so good in it. The emperor was delighted by this idea. He would be the first to get such an unusual suit and he would be able to always know if someone was stupid. He gave the two men a huge bag of gold and told them to get to work immediately. They left the palace laughing with glee. They couldn't believe it had worked. Although they had their money now, they thought they could make this prank go on even longer. A few days passed. The tailors sent word to the palace that they needed to return to take the emperor's measurements. They strode through the grand old doors, pretending to hold huge rolls of fabric and carrying empty bags. See, your greatness, we have made all this beautiful fabric for you, the tailors said cheerfully. The emperor looked into the bags, but of course could see nothing. A feeling of dread washed over him. Was he too stupid to see the fabric? He realized that nobody else would know. He couldn't see it if he just pretended he could. Wonderful, beautiful, he said, stroking nothing but the air. All of the staff in the palace began to panic too. Were they too stupid to see the fabric? They decided to follow the emperor's lead and broke out in joyful applause, whooping with delight. Lovely, they all cried. The tailors held back tears of laughter. In the emperor's bedroom, the tailors undressed him to drape him in the new fabric. They made a great show of cutting the air with scissors, pushing needles through an invisible cloth and folding invisible seams. When they were finished, they presented the emperor with a mirror. All he could see staring back was himself in just his underpants. He knew he couldn't stop the deception now. It's the best suit I've ever seen, he said. Word had spread about the marvelous new fabric, so the palace decided the emperor should give a grand parade. The emperor was worried about going outside in only his underclothes, but convinced himself it wouldn't be embarrassing. After all, no one would notice except those who weren't clever enough to see the fine fabric. He didn't care what stupid people thought. He summoned everyone in the town to come and see the fine new suit. His horses and army lined up outside the palace, ready for the procession. All the people had gathered along the streets, eager to see the finest suit they had heard so much about. Everyone wanted to know who was too stupid to see it, too. The emperor's nude body rode through the streets in his carriage, standing and waving to all of the people. Too afraid to admit they couldn't see it, the crowd cheered and waved awkwardly. Amazing, beautiful, they cried. 
In all the crowd, there was only one person not scared to admit the truth he saw with his eyes. He's only in his underwear, said a little boy. At first the crowd shushed him and reprimanded him for being a silly little child. The boy ran down the streets after the carriage, shouting, He is! He's naked! Doesn't anyone see? Eventually the truth began to catch on, as people admitted to their neighbors that they couldn't see the fabric either. A new cry came from the crowd. The emperor is in his underpants! The emperor heard their cries and felt very embarrassed. He realized that they were right, and the two tailors had fooled him. He jumped from the carriage and ran back to the palace to hide under his bed. He was so sad that his love of clothes had gotten the better of his common sense. The townsfolk all learned a lesson that day, too. From then on, they weren't afraid to speak up and tell the truth. They understood that truth was the most important thing, even if it seemed stupid. Otherwise, they might find themselves parading through the streets in only their underwear.